Hey YouTube, this is Larry here from Civilian Tactical Unit. Thought I would turn around and do a quick video on how to set up your uh, Hornaday Camlock uh, case trimmer. Uh, I'm going to set mine up for uh, trimming some 7mm rim mags. Uh, it's a pretty nice little setup. They uh, have the nice cast iron uh, framework here. But um, I've seen a lot of people where they've uh, taken and uh, bolted theirs to like just a piece of plywood or whatever. So that way they can move it out of the way or whatever. But I've got mine bolted down to the bench using a couple of bolts and washers in the back and, and all that. Um, I don't have a reason to move mine out of the way. Uh, this entire bench is used strictly for reloading. So I have everything set up on it from obviously the case trimmer we're going over to also my concentricitor and also my uh, auto progressive lock and load press um, but first thing you're going to need to know is you need a few of the items um, the uh, Hornaday uh, cam lock trimmer comes with a lot of these pilots you need to figure out which one fits whatever case uh, that you're actually going to be doing. In my case, it is a number seven. So what you do is you take and slide it in here. Where and I'm doing this with one hand. So slide it into the cutter slot here, and then on top you'll see that there's like a um, a little hex key lock ring and all you gotta do is tighten this down doesn't have to be super tight just you know enough to hold that in there now you're also gonna need to know which shell holder you need in my case I need shell holder number five going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to slide it in the shell holder deal on the for the trimmer and I'm going to tighten this back up which is not going to be easy one-handed tighten this down so it'll hold it Now with me, I like to try and keep the open side of the shell holder facing me. So when I stick a case in there, I can just be sitting in a chair and slide it in and then just tighten it up the little bit that I need to and undo it, slide the case right back out. So I'm going to loosen this back up so I can uh, got my adjustment or I can slide this back and forth. So the next thing I need to know after getting that stuff at least preset is I need to come over here to my reloading book, which I happen to be using a Hornady reloading manual. And it says 7mm rim mag, case trim length is going to be 2.490 inches. So I, of course, went and have already set up my dial caliper to 2.490. Well, I also happen to already have a case that's already been trimmed. So this makes this a little easier for me. But for somebody who's just, you know, hasn't trimmed a case yet or anything, I'm going to show you how you can go about doing that too. So if you already have a case that's trimmed, you can actually slide it in here. You don't even have to lock it down. Come on, slide up on there. All right, there we go. I got it slid up over the pilot now. 
So now I can take and push this all the way in, which is the maximum depth that I'll be able to cut. And now this side's set in place. So all I got to do is turn this little lock nut here. And now everything is set in place. So now when I pull that out, and I would slide that back on, I have to make a minor adjustment. As you can see, it did move a little bit on me, but that's not a big issue. Okay, so I was having a few issues where this piece over here would not slide forward. So I had to pause for a second to be able to use two hands. And now you can see that I've got the cutting head up tight against the um, shell casing. You can also see over here that I am bottomed out on the total depth of cuts and then that way this is set in place for me to be able to just go ahead and start cutting. Something else you will notice is that I've removed the crank handle that comes standard with the uh, cam lock trimmer and bought the adapter piece so that way I can attach a drill to it and it makes trimming so much easier and less abuse on on your arms and shoulders and everything else. So. I'm going to loosen this back up and pull that out. I'm going to pull the case out. Now, if you were setting this up for the first time, never have, don't have any cases that are at, you know, the, the right length, then you are able to, um, You're able to take on uh, doing this one handed with caliper. My hand's going to be a fun part. Just push the one side all the way in. And I always try and turn a cutting edge so I can use my caliper to measure it out. So you can see that my caliper just barely misses it. And that could be a lot to do with this piece over here might have moved a little bit or something. But no big deal. You can get the idea using two hands would be a lot easier. So now I am all 100% set up and ready to go for trimming some cases. So I hope this helps anybody that, you know, was wondering how a case trimmer works for new people you know, people that are new at reloading and things like that uh, case length is a huge thing for you know whether it's handguns or uh, rifles to make sure because if they're too long they're either not going to chamber or you're going to you know possibly have um, an accidental discharge which could seriously hurt you or other people around you uh, damage the gun so you know case trimming is huge when if you're going to do your own reloading so i hope this helps and we'll talk to you later thanks bye